how do you paint flowers in watercolour, in particular daisies? And how does an egg help you? I'm going to show you. Hi, welcome to Sluga Channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Charles and on this channel I use my 30 years experience to help you live, love and do watercolour. Basically, it's all got to do with watercolour. Anything related to watercolour, on this channel. So if that sounds like something for you, consider subscribing, hit that little bell so you don't miss out on any content. Today I'm talking about painting flowers, but daisies in particular. We're going to do some speed painting so that you don't have to hang around all day while I do this painting, but I am going to pause it at certain points to give you some hints and tips. So make sure you watch the whole thing. We're in for a bumpy ride. Don't paint them like propellers, okay? Daisies are not propellers. And if you paint every petal, it just looks ghastly. You want a more general approach. We're after an impression of a daisy, not a botanical study. This is where the egg comes into it. It's just a concept that I use. I think of them as fried eggs. Draw the circle, the centre, and position that on the page at different angles. You'll get the feeling of daisies without getting caught up in petals. If you don't get those big shapes, all those petals aren't going to help. Stop before you get into it. These are the colours. Cobalt blue, raw sienna and alizarin crimson. It's those three combinations of colours to use. Make sure you keep that white paper. You don't want to lose the white paper. You lose the white paper. That's the end of the picture. And what you're really doing is you're painting the shadows. So make it really clear in your head where the shadows are going to be because that's what you're painting. Stop. Paint the centres with Indian yellow. You want this paint to be a little bit thicker and you want it to bleed into those shadows that you've just painted. So now it's time to paint the foliage, but make sure you don't fill it up too much. You don't want that area to be too heavy. Start light, work to dark. Now, what you're doing is you're painting the darks. Now, the darks are really important because it's, it's the darks that are going to push the lights of the daisies out. You're actually painting the space around it. Watch this.
now what you're doing is you're painting the darks, you're bringing them into the daisies. You're painting the petals, but remember, you're not painting them like propellers, you're just doing it to get an impression, so suggest, okay, not too many. stop okay now what you're doing is if the background the foliage part is too thick you're going to break it up with a bit of gouache thick light paint cadmium yellows things like that scratch it if you have to whatever it takes to break up that solid feel of that foliage
So the thing you want to do now, <laughs> you may be wondering where I am. I'm out on a farm, actually just checking out a few areas to do a bit of painting, maybe for a future video. And as I was walking around making this video, I stood in. Yep, that's it. Note to self for future, wear gumboots. Back to the flowers. So you look at your flowers. If you want to define a few more, what you can do is just paint negative space. Cut out some flowers from your light background with some negative space, just like I do here. Now I'm going to stop the painting there, but you could really take it a little bit further. You could refine the edges a bit more. I'm not, I don't want to do it on mine, but what I will do is just to give you an idea of what it would look like, I've done a little bit of Photoshop work to a photo of this painting. Here it is. So you decide how far you want to go, but however far you go, the process is the same. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful, and if not, just entertaining. If you did like it, hit the thumbs up, share it with your friends. Now, before you go, I've got two questions. First one is, what's your favorite flower? Either to paint or just to enjoy. And secondly, what would you like to see me paint on this channel? And consider subscribing. Just click on that icon there, somewhere there, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that little bell. Until next week, have a great week. Thanks for watching.